Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tau Flater Mouse. Is a regulation Fushigi ball bulletproof? And what is inside these things that make it so magical? Well today we're gonna find out on Tau Flater Mouse. Oh yeah. He's actually pretty good. Fushigi King here. The Fushigi. That's it. A Fushigi ball is a toy or apparatus, whatever you want to call it that allows you to do magical things. It's called contact juggling, and I have no idea how it's properly done, but there are some good videos on, on YouTube that show people really performing well at these. And what I understand is those dudes are major chick magnets. All right, so <laughs> well, since I don't know what I'm doing with this, it's probably best to shoot this thing. <laughs> okay, you think it's bulletproof? I don't think it's going to be bulletproof. I bet you that 308 round in, at least embeds itself in there, if not shatters it. Okay. I don't know either. I don't know what it's made out of. If I knew it was made out of polycarbonate or yeah. something. It feels softer than the Lexan that we shoot. Yeah. So I'm betting that round, if we can hit it center, I'm betting the round digs in. Wow. So that blew up. Look at the fiberglass. Wow. Greg is shooting his Smith & Wesson M&P 10 308 rifle. The bullet velocity is about 2700 feet per second or 820 meters per second. You'll notice that his aim is a little bit off. What happened was he sighted this rifle in with his own ammo and then in the last minute I gave him what was supposed to be a tracer, a completely different round, and then he shot that. We didn't see any tracerization and unfortunately because it's a different round that he uh, sighted in with, it was slightly off, but he still destroyed the ball. Once the bullet went through the ball, it deflected off slightly and went through our ballistic paneling which is rated to stop pretty much every handgun round out there and of course it's not ready to stop at 308 so it just blew a hole right through that paneling now we managed to find about half of the debris from this thing a lot of it just went a long ways and we lost it luckily Greg's daughter managed to find the center core which is the glow in, in the dark part and it was actually a lot smaller than I thought it would be. And uh, we were actually very lucky to find that. A Fushigi ball is definitely not bulletproof, but we still had a lot of fun making this. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you enjoy these kind of videos.